Flex TPE Tubing Welder from St. Cobain is designed to reconnect two blunt ends of tubing with a secure seal that will not impede fluid flow, unlike some other competitive products. With this welder, you can weld tubing with liquid in the line. Like the companion Seal Flex Sealer, it uses compressed air with 110 volt or 230 volt options, so it can be purchased and used anywhere in the world. The ConnectFlex tubing welder uses a disposable, single-use blade to cut the tubing and heat it for the weld. A new blade out of the package has a pink semicircle on it. When the blade heats up, it turns to dark gray. A photo sensor in the unit detects the color so that it cannot be recognized a second time and reused by the welder. If you put a used blade in the device, it will sense it and the LED screen will read, replace with new blade. The ConnectFlex is designed to connect tubing from one quarter inch to one half inch OD. There are two sets of grippers that hold the tubing in place. The first set is for the smaller diameter up through three eighth inch OD. The other set is for tubing from three eighths inch up to three quarter inch OD. They're easily changed when you want to convert to another size tubing. For operation, the Walner has a standard electrical connection and an airline quick connect. It requires standard compressed air between 90 and 100 PSI. If there's low air pressure, it will give you an indication not to start, but to check the air pressure. For this demonstration, we're going to connect two 3 8 by 5 8 inch tubes, going from a fluid filled line to a receiving line that obviously will have no liquid in it. It only takes a couple of easy steps. First, we'll load the tubing, the fluid filled line that we'll be pulling from and the receiving line. Lock down the grippers. And then insert a new blade. Again, the pink indicates that it's brand new and the sensor would not let the unit operate with a used blade. The LED readout now indicates to close the cover. Press the green button to start the cycle. As a safety feature, the cover is held in place magnetically. It takes approximately 40 pounds of pressure to open so that you can't open it during the cycle. For our demonstration, we have removed the cover. The design is such that the first action when we press the green button was a clamping of the tubes so that they're held in a compressed mode. That's part of what makes it possible for us to weld tubing with fluid in the line unlike some other competitive products. Inside the unit, the blade is being heated to between 265 and 270 degrees centigrade. This sterilizes the blade and heats it to a point that will allow it to cleanly cut through the thermoplastic tubing. The machine features a HEPA filter. We recommend it be changed about every 300 cycles. The LED screen will tell you how many cycles the machine has gone through. It's simple to replace. Just unscrew the four screws on the front of the filter take it off and replace with a new one. They're the same size HEPA filter commonly used on a vacuum cleaner. They're available in all industrial supply stores or pharmaceutical supply stores. At about 42% of the completion cycle, the blade will automatically cut through both tubes. Once the blade cuts through the tubing, a HEPA filter will turn on, keeping positive pressure on the inner chamber as a clean room. Then the tubes will be positioned together. The unit will hold the ends of the tubing against the blade, which will heat to 260 degrees centigrade for a prescribed amount of time to melt the ends of the tubing. At approximately 82% completion, we'll see the blade slide back and the tubes will be squeezed together to hold them in position until it cools down. The cut pieces are also sealed in this process with any debris liquid contained in it so you won't lose any. At the end of the process, the magnet releases and the top can be lifted. Just release the tubing from the clamps and then simply pop the weld point by squeezing it together and the weld is complete. To do another weld, simply insert a new blade. The used blade will be ejected into the drawer when you start the next operation. 
When the device is done, you notice that both of the blunt ends at the cut point are sealed so that you don't have any media escape. The device is designed so that all the working parts are on the inside. Even if fluid should spill, it won't get into the mechanism. The mechanical parts are all around the perimeter of the case and not straight below, so any media spillage would end up in the used blade drawer and not in the mechanism. To answer any questions about operation of this equipment or for further information, please call the St. Gobain Performance Plastics customer service line at 1-800-541-6880.